Now I've got here this Sony Vio VGN CS31S and uh, it has a really weird problem. Um, it runs Windows 8 and um, every time it boots up it um, sometimes gets to the start screen but then it shows a blue screen. Well, first it freezes then it shows a blue screen. So. I'd like to show you what that is. It's that kind of thing that illuminates here. Don't even know what that is actually. It's kind of cool. So this laptop was from the Windows Vista era. Oh no, it's doing the automatic repair thingy. Well, whatever. And um has a Core 2 Duo, 4 gigs of RAM. Don't know what graphics card this says. Graphics by NVIDIA. And yeah, it's no overall in actually good shape. Just has that weird problem. It's boot. Let me show you what happens. Now the error message it says it says something watchdog violation. Now I read online that this can be um a hardware mistake or just a hardware failure but it can also be just something in the operating system so I really hope it is just the operating system in school when uh, we first tried to repair this we already ran some RAM and just overall CPU tests and stuff like this and it passed everything so I don't know what's the deal here maybe hard drive who knows never had that problem on any of my machines so it's kind of new to me what this is doing it's a really slow thing though. <laughs> Probably a lot of data on it, but yeah. But yeah, as I said, it, it's got scratches on the back because it's glossy and everything. But overall, for its age, it's still really nice. Especially here, that looks so good still. I mean, yeah, the keys are a little worn here, but still, I mean, they're rather good. Now, look, watch this. Froze here. Doesn't do shit. I will not go any uh, more up here because there's personal stuff. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go, DPC watchdog violation. So I don't know what the hell that is. Keeps doing that on every reboot, so <laughs> not such a good sign, I guess. So yeah, what I'll do now, I'll boot up a Linux, save all the data, which is important, see if the machine functions actually and then probably reinstall Windows. Okay, it is some time later and I have spent a little time testing it under Linux here and it doesn't show any sign of problems and um, I personally think that there's a really bad uh, screw up on the OS so I'm eventually going to reinstall it. I already copied, uh, you know, all the data, all the uh, home, uh, no, it's not called home in Windows, it's called just users. Co copy the users folder and that's about it. And I'm, re I'm reinstalling Windows 7 because she wanted Windows 7 desperately. I don't know how it actually got running Windows 8 because it's made for Vista, but yeah, who the hell wants Vista? So probably, I guess, they eventually upgraded to 8. And now it it's dead. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I already told you, you know, there's Windows 10 coming out. Just wait a bit. It's You can upgrade it to it later. And it's similar to Windows 7. But she's like, no, 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 no. If it's possible, install Windows 7. I would be so thankful. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that eventually. Uh, what I've experienced, you know, I don't find Windows 8 so bad. But... Uh, most people do so at least for what I experienced they all really hate it actually <laughs> so I'm going to reinstall Windows 7 uh, due to 100,000 updates and hopefully everything goes well um, right now I'm looking for drivers and it does actually offer just Windows 8 drivers so um, you could run this with Windows 8 just fine. It would probably perform way better on Windows 8, but hey, if she wants Windows 7, she'll get it. So I need to look for the installation media and then we can install it. 
Okay, it's quite some time later. Um, I had to leave in the meantime, and uh, unfortunately, the copying kind of stopped while I was gone. And uh, yeah, uh, so I need to do the rest. It's not so bad. Uh, copied the most stuff, and um, it appeared to be running the whole time. So I don't see any troubles with it anymore. So I guess that blue screening was just because of Windows 8 kind of having a bad uh, whatever uh, maybe a virus or who knows what the hell it was but now it's gone now uh, the only thing I need to do is install some programs uh, and then I will be able to give this back and uh, you will have a brand oh, well no, not brand new but almost like brand new working computer so yep this is the Sony Vio uh, VGN CS thirty one S, ridiculous name, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.